So what we discuss today is the number line. Now, you must be wondering, what do I mean by a number line? Suppose there is this line and I mark all the whole numbers here. And this can go on and on and on. Now a number line is nothing but a line which has various numbers plotted against it. So while what I have drawn, these distance may not be equal, but basically on a number line, the difference between these two successive numbers, which is 0 and 1, 1 and 2, 2 and 3, is equal. And the distance between any two points is called a unit distance. So, what is the use of this number line? In your previous classes and in your previous you know, chapters and learnings, you must have learned all the concept of addition, subtraction, and multiplication. Now, this number line can also be used for these purposes. And how does that happen? Suppose I need to, I have a number called 2. And I want to add 4 to it. So what is the sum? Either as you've been doing, you can do it manually. Or otherwise, what I do is that from 2, I move 4 units. 1, 2, 3. And 4. And what do I get? I get 6. So 2 and 4 is equal to 6. So through number line, what I have done is that I have done the addition of two numbers. Now it is very important to note that these numbers have to be sequential. So I can't have 1, 3, 7, 5, 9 and all those things. It has to be sequential for me to do this addition. Now, similarly, if I had to do a subtraction, now let us say I wanted to do a subtraction which is 6 minus 3. Now, how do I calculate this? For addition, I move to my right, which means that because we all know when we add two positive numbers, it increases. So, I moved 4 units from 2. If I have to subtract, I have to move 3 units, 1, 2, and 3. And where do I reach? I reach at 3. So 6 minus 3 is 3. One of the things which you need to note is that always the number on the right hand side of a particular number is greater than that number. So suppose I take the number 7. All numbers on the right side of 7 which is 8 and 9 are greater than 7. So therefore it is safe to assume that all the numbers on the right hand side of a particular number are greater than that number. At the same time, all the numbers on the left side of this particular number are less than that number. So this was around the addition and subtraction. Now how about multiplication? Suppose I need to multiply 2 by 3. So what happens? I need to find out how much is 2 times 3. So, I move 3 points here 
So this is one time three, and then I again move three points here. So what I get is six. So two times three is equal to six. So this is the purpose for which a number line is used. Now you need to understand one thing here, which is that three and three. Number line can be used in so far as small calculations are concerned. If the numbers are bigger, if the calculations are bigger, then in that case number lines are not useful because you can't keep on plotting these to the extent of infinity. So this was around the concept of number lines.